Hi, this is Neil O'Brien and this week's case study is all about strategy and just like a good chess player will have a plan at the start of a game, as a business owner you need to have a plan as well and what the strategy means is you need to know what you're going to sell and who you're going to sell it to. Now, what I say around this is that if you decide on a strategy without doing an 80-20 analysis, it's a bit like shooting at a target in the dark. It's very, very difficult to hit. Now, you may well be thinking, well, of course I'm going to say that because I specialize in 80-20, but I have a very, very good reason for saying this, and I have two examples now I'm going to share with you. The first one is back to a case study I did uh, a while back, and it's about Noel, who had a training company, and when we worked out his net profit or net loss per customer, we actually discovered that his three biggest courses, which are these three sections here, that made up 70% of his sales were all losing money. Now, in terms of strategy, Noel was planning to do a marketing campaign on those three courses. Now, of course, that would have been disastrous because it would have increased his sales, sorry, increased his losses, yeah? Increased his losses, it would have been disastrous. Now, a second example is a company I've started working with recently and there's four sections of the business. Now, they've just completed an expansion of section A and they spent two million euros doing that. Now, they haven't done an 80-20 analysis and look, they may have very good reasons for spending it in section A. My point B would be that if they did an 80-20 analysis, they might have discovered that a section D was much more profitable than section A and everything else being equal, they would have been better off spending the two million on section D because it would give them much more higher profits. Now, there are other factors involved here, the economy, trends in your sector, legislation and so on. So 80-20 is just one factor to take into consideration. Now, how does all this affect you? Now, like the man here at the crossroads, if you're a bit of a crossroads in terms of deciding what you're gonna sell and who you're gonna sell it to, then I would suggest that an 80-20 analysis may be very helpful. Because thinking about Noel earlier on, Noel totally changed the strategy of his business when we got the numbers from 8020. He stopped doing some of these courses that were losing him money in, in the classroom and he started moved them online. He's promoting his more profitable customers and he's really changing his strategy completely based on the 8020 analysis. So if you're interested, I do two free consultations every week. There's my contact details. Somebody asked me recently what's the purpose of the consultation and it's to help you discover the biggest 8020 opportunities in your business that will grow your profits this year. Okay, thanks for listening.